Early on, folks would like to have an accurate read for what our water year is going to look like. Well, we're, we're early on in the season. That's the main message. The other message is we're in better shape than we were last year because of the reservoir levels being above average, above normal. But the message overall to Californians ought to be that we live in the most variable weather climate in California, in the, in the country. And that variability is what we have to manage to increasingly. So you could have five years of a record drought, which we came out of, followed by the wettest year on record, which was last year in Northern California. I believe it was the second wettest year on record in Southern California. That variability is what poses the challenge for all of us as water managers in California and the West. We're doing our, our, uh, our best to understand the phenomena of atmospheric rivers, which we do know now are called our drought busters, and they're also the extreme weather event that leads to flooding. So DWR is uh, made well, well over $30 million worth of investments in flood uh, control, levee maintenance, and projects throughout this last year because of that. It was a remarkable year for, for uh, flood control, and uh, we came off the wettest year on record uh, with very little flooding uh, beyond what, what you would anticipate. So uh, we're redoubling our efforts to be able to respond to multiple dry years as well as wettest years on record, and that's our job as water managers. So I'm not going to say the anxiety level is any higher than normal. We know that we're professionals. We work with the federal and state partners and our local water managers to serve the legitimate water supply needs of California.